Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2022 Ford Mustang GT with the Performance Pack Edition. So this is a 2022 Mustang GT Performance Pack. It's the GT Premium. Uh, with the Performance Pack add-ons, you get the Brembo brakes, the wider rear tires, and a few other add-ons like the Performance Spoiler and the Front Splitter. This one has the 5 liter V8 making 450 horsepower, has a 10 speed automatic transmission with remote start, and then you can hear it come up, come to life. You do have your doors getting in here, ambient lighting in the lock there as well as the footwells. You have your power window controls, power mirror controls, nice big Mustang logo there. You get these leather bucket seats that are power for both passenger and driver heated and cooled seats. To the left of the steering wheel, you have your lighting controls and your trunk release. Getting up inside of the Mustang, you have your push to start, uh, notification once you remote start, then you're good to go, you can drive away. We're gonna go through and review uh, a few of the features here. Starting with, down in the center console, you have your drive modes. So that is your normal drive mode, you have Sport Plus, which kind of just makes it more uh, uh, reactive to the RPMs. So you can hear it warmed up and it uh, sounds a little bit more throaty. Then you have Track Mode, which turns off traction control. You have Drag Mode as well. And then you can also drive this in the winter if you'd like. Beside that button, you have Steering Feel, so you can put it in whatever mode you want. And then you can have Normal, Sport, or Comfort Steering. And then we're going to turn this off and throw it in auxiliary mode so we're not wasting gas. So you can cycle through the screens in here. You have your main gauge, which is your distance to empty, your digital speedometer, your tire pressure, your gauge detail with all these uh, temperatures and ratios. And then you can cycle through your trip and fuel settings. You have various track apps, so your status screen. So this is what's going to basically tell you uh, what your vehicle is in, what mode. You have your accelerometer, your timers, your brake performance, your line lock, your lap timer, and then you can clear those results. Your driver's assist, you do have your 30 minute max idle, your blind spot, your driver alert, your pre-collision, your cross traffic, and more. And then you have various settings such as the exhaust mode setup, and you can even turn it on for quiet start. You go in here and you can uh, earn the alarm, your access, your lighting, your locks, your oil life. Uh, you can set up the color here and the gauges switch it over to green or purple or blue and then same with the halo around that you can set that to orange if you want and then you can go in here and change the ambient lighting which is down under uh, your feet so if you want to switch that around you can say switch that to like white or green or purple you can do that as well on the steering wheel itself, you do have adaptive cruise control, you have paddle shifters back here, your volume controls. On the right, you have your menu controls and hands-free calling. Moving over where here, you do have your sync system. We're going to go ahead and turn the display so a little bit easier to see. Turn the brightness up with the display, which is a nice setting, and then you can also turn it to daytime mode uh, if you'd want to as well then you can easily see it. So now you have your main home screen preview is your map, your radio, and your phone. If it's paired, you can jump over to your map pretty quickly, use this to zoom in and out, and then use all your search functions to set up a home or work address and view various points of interest. You have your audio in here, so you can switch over to satellite radio and Bluetooth audio. Same with electronic climate control, you have dual zone climate in here. You can turn the fans up and down, uh, turn on the defrosters, pretty straightforward stuff. And then jumping over to these settings, you do have your various general settings. So you do have uh, your units you can play around with in here, your automatic over-the-air updates. And then jumping to the other page, you have your sound settings, which is uh, essential for if anyone likes to listen to good music in the Mustang. You've got Wi-Fi and then various vehicle settings. Further down, you have your manual climate controls, heated and cooled seats, as mentioned earlier dual zone climates and then you have your engine start stop and then the exhaust mode and steering feel. Your center console automatic gear shifter and then you have your center console cup holders with that ambient lighting and then up top you have a universal garage door opener and then you can even you have your interior lights in here as well and that is the interior of the Mustang GT. 
Coming on towards the back of the Mustang, this color is carbonized gray. Looks really nice metallic up close. You can see there's a little bit of a sparkle in the paint there. You do have your rear end here, so you have your three taillights, your quad tip exhaust, and your rear brake light. As you can see, it's just there. If you want to pop the trunk, you can use the key fob as well. And you do have a generous amount of trunk space in the back of the Mustangs. If you want to take it on a road trip, you will have no issue fitting quite a bit of luggage back here. Coming around towards the side of the Mustang, do have your rear tires here, 275s in the rear, 255 up front. And jumping over to the passenger side, so we can take a quick look at the back seat. Leather seating in the rear, nothing crazy, you just have your seat belts back there. Your passengers are just back there to enjoy the ride. And lastly, taking a look up front, do you have your 5.0 badge, your Brembo brakes, LED lighting up front, high beams, low beams, and then you have your turn signals and your fog lights, and then that front splitter with the grill shutters hidden in there with the honeycomb grill. All over and all, a very nice Mustang, and it is available here, so make sure to visit us at mcfeeford.com. We thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.